Hello everyone, welcome back to Luke's TV Talk, where we go over some of the most recent TV episodes we've been watching. Before I start, I uploaded a video on Cyberpunk Edge Runners on Netflix, so if you're interested, go give that a watch. And also make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with all future episodes. So for this video, I'll be looking at She-Hulk Episode 5, so I'll be going over some of the plot first. Titania has trademarked the name She-Hulk, and even though she says she isn't bothered, Jen clearly is. Jen and Nikki even visit Titania and ask her to stop, but to no avail. Nikki and Pug also visit an exclusive designer who will make some top-of-the-line clothes for Jen. Her fellow colleague, Mallory, is going to represent her in the court case. In court, they make use of the fact that people in the news and public knew the name long before the trademark. Jen visits the designer, Luke, and gets new clothes. So we don't actually see what she gets, but I can imagine it's probably a dress or a new suit that fits her more properly. And the way he passes to the second one, it seems it's going to be a superhero outfit, so the more purple and white one you see in the trailers. During the full court case, Jen brings in all the recent men she has dated to show she uses the name She-Hulk. So they bring up the matcher profile where she, where she talks about, oh, she's She-Hulk, and she identifies with this name. And then eventually the judge grants her the right to use the name, and Titania can't use that name anymore. Back at Luke's designer shop, we get a glimpse at Daredevil's yellow helmet in a box. Okay, so the first thing I loved was the Daredevil reveal, because we knew he's coming back, because in the trailers you see him, but it's great to finally see officially Daredevil is back, because we saw Matt Murdock in Spider-Man, and now we've officially got the first glimpse of our technically soft reboot Daredevil, but it's good to see that he's finally making an official somewhat appearance and I, I hope next episode he'll show himself Matt Murdock. The storyline with Luke was an interesting look at what could be an underground hero costume shop. So obviously She-Hulk went there and Daredevil so who knows who other superheroes or super beings Luke has looked into and helped design their costumes so maybe Spider-Man will now go to him or some of the villains as well not just heroes other villains maybe Electra could pop up and she was there who knows but it would be good to go into detail maybe this is the <laughs> underground hangout of the costume designers of the marvel world mallory actually getting some screen time so we've known about her character she's popped in once or twice but we actually haven't had a full-on conversation with her and the other characters but she's finally here so we get to actually meet her properly so that that's always good to see the new character well not the new characters but the characters we knew her in the show, finally get some proper screen time. Nikki and Pug are a funny pairing, so we obviously know Pug is a great character. I'm really enjoying him in every episode he's in. He's just so funny. And especially in this episode where he wants to go and get some Iron Man 3 sneakers. They looked very nice in the uh, advert in a previous episode. And Nikki is just a, a fun character to everyone she's interacting with. And Nikki and Pug as a combo was very fun to watch. Unfortunately, this episode was just... It just felt like another episode. It didn't feel special at all. I know it's been a running issue for a lot of these episodes, but the runtime was a glaring issue in this. This was with all the credits and the ending and everything. This was one of the shortest episodes of the series so far, so that was a bummer to see. I expected Titania to be more of a villain, but she was just another online influencer selling her crap to fans. She wasn't particularly interesting. She was just a, literally, as Jen said it, a snake oil salesman and it was just so generic because it wasn't interesting at all because we saw in the first episode she's got the powers so why not use them have a even a little brawl with she hulk Let, let's see that but no they would she was just a boring one-dimensional character and it wasn't particularly interesting to see her interact with anyone she was just a bland generic diva and to be honest the overall court case was so mundane i think over the last few episodes these court cases have been really boring because they skip and jump through a lot of the information. And we spend so little time in the actual court cases. So I'm, I'm not invested in the court cases at all. So I have no reason to care. Because they jump and skip and only show important bits. And it's like, whatever. I'll, I'll just wait for the next one. But yeah, it's unfortunate that these episodes are getting dragged down. by the, the thing they're meant to be based on. Which is the lawyer aspect. I hope they can maybe show a bit more of it. Because I love all the superhero stuff. But the... The lawyer stuff is just so boring at this point. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what else they can do. Obviously, Daredevil is a big highlight for me. And I can't wait to see Matt pop up. And I hope that when she, when uh, Jen and Matt connect, because obviously they're both lawyers and superheroes, 
hopefully that will develop the story a bit more and make it a bit more interesting and connect the superhero and lawyer world a bit more. But yeah, that's that's what I thought overall. If you're enjoying this series, I recommend you keep pushing through it and hopefully it gets even better than it is because it's kind of stuck in the mud at the minute and I hope it gets better. But yeah, if you like this episode, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for updated with all future episodes. But until then, I will see you all next time.